What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 5 is experiencing the DNS error. It is honestly an easy fix. Let's get right into this. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your internet is working. Go on other devices, your phone, laptop, other consoles, and see if they are connected to the internet. If they aren't working, it is likely an issue with your internet and not actually on the PlayStation 5. If the internet is working on other devices, the next thing that you need to do is to do a restart on the console in safe mode. This is actually really easy to do and you're not going to erase any of your data. It's just a better way of restarting the console and usually does help with this fix. To enter safe mode, you're going to press and hold the power button on the console for seven seconds or until you hear two beeps. After two beeps, you will release the power button and connect the controller to the console. Then it should launch into the safe mode option screen. Now you're gonna to want to select option one and that is to restart the console. Again, this isn't going to factory reset or anything. This is just gonna restart the console within the safe mode settings. Next, if that didn't work, you're gonna actually go in and change your DNS settings. To do this, you're gonna go into your settings and you're gonna select network. Next, you're gonna click on settings and then set up internet connection. Next, you're going to actually select setup manually and then you're gonna go and enter all of your Wi-Fi details on your Wi-Fi, your password and all that stuff. You're gonna go through all of the options and whenever you get to the DNS settings, you're gonna actually go and you're gonna enter Google's servers into the settings. I've made a bunch of videos even back for the PS4 on different DNS settings and there is actually a whole bunch, but the number one that always pops up is the Google servers because that has the best connection. Now again, you can go and try other ones, but I would recommend trying Google's first. For this, under primary, you're gonna enter 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And for secondary, you're gonna enter 8.8.4.4. That is to go into Google's servers. You're gonna finish setting up the Wi-Fi manually and you're gonna go through. Once you're done, it is recommended that you do another restart. You don't necessarily need to go into safe mode to do the restart this time. You can just turn off the console and turn it back on to restart it yourself. Then go and see if you can actually connect online, if you can play games online, and if see if you do have the DNS error once again. Right now, after doing all that, it should be fixed. If it still isn't working, you can go and try a different server. You can try other ones, not necessarily just using Google. You can go and try different ones and see which one works best for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully now you can connect to the internet without the DNS server issue or the server error. I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.